I'm Jake. I'm Tom. And we are Velocities of Music, VIMTV, here today to do another album review for you. Today from a, Nor a Norwegian singer-songwriter um, whose name we're going to completely butcher. We're dumb Americans from rural Iowa, literally out in the boonies. We should show you a look around where we're filming right now. It's nothing but cornfields, and I'm not exaggerating. Yep. Anyways, the artist is we're going to slaughter is Han Huckleberg, and her, her new album is called Featherbrain. This is her fourth album. Um, she uses uh, it's very, very artistic music mm -hmm. um, in the same vein as Bjork. It is the yeah. closest comparison I could come to. Um, it, it's very much um, compositional pieces of, and it, it, I would classify it as art art rock. Um, um, a lot of found sounds. She likes to record like bicycle spokes and other like metal grinding um, sounds like that. Uh, that that really add uh, 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 authenticity to the, uh -huh. to the music that I really and a lot of got tension. Into. Right, great right. at building tension. Right. Um, her tracks, some of them meander. Um, they all meander some, but some of them meander more than others. You'll have you'll have tracks that kind of build slowly and maybe don't go anywhere they just kind of just flow out and then there's other tracks that have a, a consistent solid chorus in them um, a little bit more structure um, it, but it's just overall a good variety and it's very mood oriented uh -huh. um, I think she does a really good job of presenting vocals um, but uh, you know I, I and always I always feel like a vocalist can always project more um, rarely do I ever go hey nice job vocalist so that is a criticism I have is that Han could have taken it to the next step by really emoting her voice pushing her voice to the next level which um, uh, is something that I think could have added into their dynamic. Tom, what was your take on Featherbrain? Well, I pretty much agreed with all the things that you just said. Um, I think maybe I liked the vocals a little more than you, okay. but mostly I just love the blend of sounds. Um, she She's very good at making all of them work together, even if they have nothing to do with each right. other. Um, and especially there's a very spatial aspect, right. a lot of things hard pan, you'll only hear them in one ear, um, and it really makes it a, a three-dimensional uh album listen with a lot of depth right. um you know maybe not necessarily like emotional depth or or spiritual depth maybe you'll find that in right. here i don't know but um i personally didn't i just kind of enjoyed the compositional aspects right. um so all that said um i think some of these tracks were stronger than others but overall there weren't any particularly weak spots yeah. i think the songs play off of each other pretty well but you can also tell that they really weren't meant to have too much to do with each other right and, and that's kind of my biggest criticism Tom, uh -huh. it is just overall i felt like this album was just a collection of, of good ideas um, uh -huh. and not and not much of an album um and in as far as the scope goes these this could have been a lot more there wasn't just there just wasn't uh -huh. enough direction for me to really get behind this you have these really moody comp positions but why are they moody and I always get to this point I always get to that that where like I like an album fairly well um, even if it takes a little while at first that's actually a good thing this album took me a while to get into it first and then the more I listened to it the more I wanted to listen to all of it that's a, that's yeah. a good sign uh -huh. um, but then I get to this point where it's like okay well why am I not loving this and then I always kind of come down to why are they not making me love it what is it about this why do I not care about some of the things that they're doing and, I, and, and honestly it comes down to establishing a warrant with your listener. So Han Huckleberg has made these compositions. They're, they're crazy sounds, a lot of great mm -hmm. blending, some good songwriting even in there at, at times. Um, it, but the, really the essence of it is the mood and, and the vocal presentation. Why is, why is it moody is what I need to know. And, and B, why, why, are all the, all, why does it not make me feel more intense? And I think part of that barrier is because you can tell she's doing it entirely for herself. Yeah. Which I, I honestly have a lot of respect for as a, as a musician myself. Absolutely. I think that you have to do what you're doing for yourself. You have to make yourself happy first. Uh, but I feel like she did it to the extreme. I mean, right. uh, I mean, I, I think that if she took an I ideas like this, focused them a little more, right. uh, you know, made them a little more consistent and flow into each other a little better, you know, and when Jake and I say flow, you know, we're not asking for Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon here. We're just asking for ideas that are a little more relevant from track to right. track. Uh, a little more consistent. And so while I do appreciate the variety here, I feel like there are some opportunities that were missed. Right. And, and and I think that if you're used to a lot of more pop structured music, stuff that is, you know, more brightly colored in sound, um, this this one would be kind of a struggle for you just to jump into. This is a uh -huh. record that takes a lot of patience. Uh, and, and I think that, you know, it's generable lack of accessibility um, in just trying to pick out all the different sounds and figure out what they are and then noticing how she's building the compositions. Those things 
things that like, if you're willing to listen that closely to the music, um, and while that could be kind of a con, I like albums that lack um, a light bit of accessibility because it makes me work harder yeah. to understand them. And this uh -huh. is an album that once you start to do that, you can really understand yeah. what and why she's doing things um, in a certain way to make a song a certain way. And that's something that um, I appreciated. It made it a grower for yeah. me, and that's something that's always a plus. So. You really you really have to appreciate the craft here right. because she's just right. like going for it. You know, and some of these moods just are, are so abrasive. They uh -huh. really just... Um, can can grip you, but like I said, I want to know why. I want to have a reason to relate with it because then that magnifies that intensity so much. So right now I'm sitting at a 78. Tom, what are you at? I'm meeting you there, 78. 78. I think that's a. It's, it's a mm -hmm. very solid release. Um, definitely check this one out if you're kind of in the wild side for something different or if you mm -hmm. just like arty music um, and if you haven't heard of Han Huckleberg definitely something to check out and if you know exactly how to pronounce her name we would really appreciate it let us know what you guys thought at www.velocitiesandmusic.com or youtube.com slash velocitiesandmusic as always Find us on Twitter and find us on Facebook. We are your friends and want to be there. And you guys are what makes VIMTV uh, whatever it is right now. You guys, <laughs> are, you guys are the essence. We get all of our ideas from you. We play our idea, our ideas onto you to see if you will like them. And a lot of the interaction builds VIMTV into mm -hmm. what we want it to become in the future. So thank you for your participation. We look forward to continue to talk with all of you fine people in the future. I'm Jake. I'm Tom. And we are VIMTV Moving Music Critique Forward. No.